What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> Gonna do a little video of the Saratoga Arms 22. I uh, can shoot longs, long rifle, and shorts. Right now we got some high power shorts in there from Agula. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw. Put this bottle right here. Let's take a shot at her. Oop one thing I always forget about is the safety on this thing. Okay. Let's take a look where we hit it. This is a seems to be a very accurate gun. Oh, right at the top there. Take a look at that shot. I was aiming for the top of the bottle there. Trying to anyway. Let's see. Looks like we hit right around. That was might have been our first shot. We hit the bottle, but I it's hard to tell where. Let's give it another go. Okay, that's a pretty fair distance shot right there. Miss. It gets a little bit harder from distance. Okay, we're definitely out of ammunition now. You can tell I haven't been in the range in a while. And because we're not shooting at a target, it's hard for me to tell if we're pulling left or if we're pulling right. Shooting these 22 shorts out of it. Oop. We'll go back to that one. One more. Let's use the tree for a rest this time. Don't want to put your hand in front of the cylinder. I've experienced that before. There we go. Needed a little bit of balance on that shot. Anyways, I really like this Heritage Arms. It's a great little, great little revolver for the price. You truly can't beat it. Um, the fact that it comes with the safety, a lot of people don't like, but I actually do like because it gives me the opportunity to carry six shells. As you see, it just blocks a hammer from firing. So even if I were to fire right now, it wouldn't go off. So that makes it where you can carry six if you want. Using the tree for a rest. Okay, we hit her again. So, if you're accurate, she's pretty accurate as well, which I like.
Just blowing her out left and right. Give another little little shot here. Okay, so back out of ammunition. Oh, let's see if I shot that one or if we had a light strike. No, nope. we didn't even shoot that one. So we'll load it back up. There we go, sorry. All right. Now, we offloaded all of our ammunition. I don't know, we got a couple more rounds here. Okay, last three rounds. See what it does to this log here. It's a dead tree. Okay. So as you guys can see, even with my subpar shooting, this is a great little accurate revolver. Uh, I love this little gun. Great little piece especially for the price. This is a good little trap line revolver. Take it fishing with you. Any of the stuff like that. Disassembly is really easy. Bring it back to the cock here. And uh, pull your pin out. Cylinder comes right out. Put your cylinder back in. Give it a turn. Put your pin back in. Give that a push. Make sure everything's lined back up. And that's it. Nice, simple little revolver. One thing you guys do want to watch out for is these all these screws on this gun. Just make sure to tighten them up all the time. Mine were a little bit loose on me. Pretty soon I'm going to be putting some blue Loctite on them just in case I ever do need to disassemble it. So that's all the screws here. We got two down here, one right here. Took a flathead to both these at the same time. Flathead here flathead on the back make sure to do your grip side screws here make sure to keep all them screws tight they will back out on you but other than that for the price you can't beat this little gun i absolutely love it when i get my holster in this is going to be one of my uh my go-to trap line gun small game pistol to bring with me so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned for the next video peace out